Hello, and welcome to this first video from 60th Foot Presents, in which I hope to give you a little background on the 60th Royal American Regiment of Foot during the French and Indian War. On Christmas Day, 1755, King George II gave his royal assent for the formation of a new regiment for the British Army. The 62nd, or Royal American Regiment of Foot, was created in response to the threat posed to the British colonies in North America by the French and their native allies. Renumbered the 60th in 1757, the regiment was to be recruited first in the German states and then from German colonists living in North America. However, finding men willing to join the colours proved a challenge, and numbers had to be made up from those rejected by the British regiments serving in Ireland. This was clearly not an auspicious start for the regiment, and the men selected to lead it would be key to its development. Two Swiss soldiers in particular were to prove vital to the success of the 60th. Henri Bouquet and Frederick Haldeman, who would command the 1st and 2nd battalions respectively. Both men were keenly aware of the challenges posed by fighting in the terrain of North America, and set to work training their battalions accordingly. Bouquet in particular would train his battalion in the light infantry tactics that were evolving, emphasising the speed and flexibility that would be required to do battle with French militia and native tribes in the forests they knew so well. Supporting Bouquet and Haldeman, would be around a hundred commissioned officers, half of whom would be British, with the remainder being Dutch, Swiss and German. The uniforms of the 60th Regiment were initially similar to those of other regiments of foot, consisting of a long coat in madder red faced in the regimental colour of royal blue, worn over blue breeches and a red waistcoat. Shoes were covered by knee-length spatter dashes in black or brown, with buttons down the outside, while the headdress was the standard tricot, with white tape around the brim. Clearly, whilst all of this was very imposing on the fields of Europe, it was not practical from the American woodland, for the tails of the coat would catch on undergrowth and the tricorn snag on branches and twigs. In response to this, the 60th adapted their dress, by cutting their coats short and replacing the button spatter dashes with wool or leather leggings in the style of the natives. They were also known to cut down their tricorns to create simple round caps, which were soon popular with light infantry troops throughout the colonies. Add to this the need to patch or replace items in the field, and it's easy to understand why contemporaries would describe the appearance of soldiers dressed in this manner as anywhere from droll to grotesque. It was, however, a significantly more practical form of dress for frontier warfare. The 60th was originally formed with four battalions, each of which would serve in some of the most significant campaigns of the French and Indian War. The 1st and 4th battalions would go with General Abercrombie, up Lake Champlain in 1758, culminating in defeat at the hands of the French at Fort Carillion, now Fort Ticonderoga. The 2nd and 3rd Battalions would go on to fight in the Battle of Louisbourg and under Wolfe at Quebec in 1759. It was in this latter campaign that the motto Seller et Audax, or Swift and Bold, was conferred on the regiment by General Wolfe, so impressed was he with their alertness and spirited conduct. Another significant event in the history of the regiment was the Battle of Bushy Run in which, along with the Highlanders of the 42nd and 77th Regiments, soldiers of the 60th defeated a force of natives, allowing the British to break the siege of Fort Pitt and reassure the colonies that, in the words of one newspaper, the Indians are no more invulnerable than other men. Following victory in the French and Indian War, the 60th went on to serve across the Empire, always keeping a battalion on station in North America until 1824. A 5th Battalion was formed and armed with rifles for service against Napoleon in Spain and Portugal, achieving such success that a 2nd Rifle Battalion was formed. The regiment would go on to form the King's Royal Rifle Corps, serving with distinction in the First and Second World Wars, ultimately becoming part of the Rifles in 2007. Thank you for watching this short video from the 60th Book Presents. Hopefully you'll be able to join us again at some point in the near future to find out a little bit more about what we do and why we do it. Thank you very much to take care.